my friends. We are live. Got two hours laying out before us. Very important radio show lined up for you today on this ninth day of August, this Sunday edition, ninth day of August, 2009. We broke the news here Friday. Then it was on CNN, Fox, and many other channels uh, that a black man was beat up by Obama supporters for daring to be handing out flyers against government-run health care. And the national media tried to spin this on Friday and say that it was anti-health care people attacking the Obama supporters, but it was really the other way around. And now hundreds of reports are pouring in, newspapers and TV reports and, and citizen journalists shooting you know the raw video of thugs hired by the Obama administration beating people up. There's also news where they're counseling uh, senators' speeches, Congress members' speeches. They're going into fortress mode because everywhere they go for their stage town halls, their own constituents are against them. Remember, last week we were talking about Lloyd Doggett. And the congressman had only mailed out mailers to his members, uh, to uh, people that were his supporters, and members of the Democratic Party. One of my employees here, his wives, is a Democrat, uh, registered. And so she got the letter in the mail. I remember Rob Dew mentioning, hey, Doggett's going to be giving a speech. You want to go ask him a question? And I said, no, you're going out of town. Then I forgot about it. Then suddenly it was all over the television with a crowd all chanting, no, we don't want your government health care, and then him leaving. And he went on the news and said it was all staged by Republicans. As if the American people, you know, don't protest, don't demonstrate. And the media says it's dirty, it's bad to protest. It's dirty, it's bad to demonstrate. You've got to accept the cap-and-trade legislation. You've got to accept all of this control. You've got to accept government control of health care. And then they lie and say, it doesn't ration care. It doesn't control what doctor you can see. It doesn't do this and that when it's all in the bill. <sighs> Just like Obama says he's not for gun control, but they've introduced scores of bills to radically restrict the Second Amendment. And people then go read the bills and get upset, or they say, oh, we don't want national compulsory service when they've introduced the bills to do it. So all across the country, Republicans and Democrats are being booed off the stage. But the media will only report on the Democrats being booed off the stage to make it a left-right issue because they know if the people ever get together, ever come together, and realize that government's bought and paid for by offshore criminal interest, it's over for the New World Order. So... We're going to be breaking this down today and this massive attack on free speech, the First Amendment, and brutal brown shirt, Nazi or Soviet-style, commissar political police attacks on anyone that doesn't want to turn their guns in, anyone that doesn't want open borders, anyone that doesn't want to give up their liberties and freedoms. And the big one, we have been censored massively. Infowars.com. In fact, here is the... Headline, Obama speech police shut down top YouTube videos. And they admit, YouTube admits, this is political censorship. This is just unprecedented. We're going to be going over it. Also, Google has shut down Sybil Edmonds' blog, the FBI whistleblower, about bin Laden working for the CIA. She was the person in there you know, decoding this. So they're definitely got a purge going on. And even if you don't agree with the things I say and do, my information, you should support my right to say it. We're going to break it all down. The crackdown on free speech straight ahead. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the millionaire patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. 
Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday edition, the ninth day of August 2009. I don't have words to describe how dire the situation is in this country, how the social engineers, the big offshore corporate banks and their sociologists and psychologists, just how manipulative they are and how they're playing the public like a fiddle. George Bush was a puppet. Bill Clinton was a puppet. Barack Obama is a puppet. These guys are corporate front men that read off teleprompters. Barack Obama has gone back on every promise he said he would do. Secret arrest, secret torture, continuing NAFTA and GATT, pushing to expand it, hiring nothing but lobbyists, expanding warrantless wiretapping, expanding the Patriot Act when he swore swore he'd get rid of it and then pledging he was different and, and i talked to obama supporters i talked to one today at my uh, mother's uh, birthday party guy i've known for years he said oh all politicians lie and i said you know all over the country republicans and democrats are being booed off stage and they want us to fight with each other as republicans and democrats i'm not even a republican i told the guy his name's harvey I said, and, and and you know that. You know I was against Bush. I said, it's like a Don King fight, Harvey. Because this fellow's been a boxing promoter. That's what Harvey is. I said, both people, he's even promoted fights with Don King. The point is, I'm sitting there having this argument. I said, it's like a Don King fight where he owns both fighters. And he finally kind of went, oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I guess it's true. But that's just the way all politicians are. They just lie to us. And I said, Harvey, the government was so corrupt and so bad and hurt your 401k so bad under Bush that they had this solution, Barack Obama, he was going to save you. Just like Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, father of Reaganomics, former Wall Street Journal editor. You know, he came out for Obama and said, I'm going to vote for him. And the last three or four months of the election, I was saying, I'm not voting for McCain. I'm not voting for Obama either. But I said to Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, I said, you watch. He's backed up by Zbigniew Brzezinski and by David Rockefeller and by all these top globalists. Uh, he's backed up by Henry Kissinger. He got four times the money McCain got from Wall Street and Goldman Sachs, the ones doing this. He's bringing in Summers, Larry Summers, that changed the laws to let the banks carry out the derivatives. And Robert Rubin. And, 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 and he said, I know, I know, but you just got to repudiate Bush. Well, now he's a man of conscience. He's now come out and said, I was wrong. Obama's worse than Bush. It's hard to believe, but it's actually true. Because he, as a conservative, for him, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, to watch Bush triple the size of government, use the Patriot Act against U.S. citizens, to see all that happen, the million-plus dead Iraqis, he was a moral person. So you morally almost had to vote for Obama. But I knew it was a bait-and-switch because I knew Obama was handled and, and controlled by Bush's controllers, even more so. And plus, he was slick. He had charisma, something Bush didn't do, didn't have. And so he was much more dangerous. He is a puppet, but he's there to make you feel like you've invested in him. He's there to make you feel like you are part of his power structure and that you're winning and that you've defeated the evil Bush. When meanwhile, the whole agenda that Bush was carrying the baton for in this relay race, now the anchor of the race is Obama. He's the closer. And Bush perfectly passed that baton off, and Obama's just boom. I mean, he is just smoking our liberties and freedoms. He is burning down our liberty. Now, that said, Harvey, and who I've known for probably 10 years, because his daughter went to school with my sister. My sister's like 14 years younger than me. This was the first time he looked shook up, he looked upset, and he looked even aggressive at first with me. 
And I said, that's fine. You want to be a sucker? Go ahead. And I started breaking his conditioning right there. I go, you know, you've been suckered in your gut and you don't want to admit it. And that, that started breaking him, breaking his, because he's not stupid, but you people put themselves under mind control. They want to believe the con. It's like with con artists and Ponzi schemes. Even after you've lost a bunch of money, people will then invest even more thinking they're going to get it back. Stop being suckered. But I was talking to another friend this weekend who was over at the house, and I said, you know, we're getting all these Obama posters out everywhere. And she actually looked upset and said, look, let's just not talk about Obama. Alex, I like you, but let's not talk about it. And she was looking at me like kind of.